Longest river is the Cagayan River with a length of 505 kilometers or 314 miles, followed by the Mindanao River and Agusan River with respective length of 373 kilometers or 232 miles and 349 kilometers or 217 miles, with an area of 27,753 square kilometers or 10,715 square miles. The Cagayan River has the largest drainage basin followed by the Mindanao, Agusan, and Pampanga rivers. I'm so proud because of the successive rainy days in this area. I hope you enjoy this area, seeing the place where the water is flowing out there. Alabel, as the capital town of Sarangani Province, lies between latitude 6 degree north 2.5 minutes and 6 degree north 17.5 minutes, and between longitudes 125 degree east 14 minutes and 125 east 36 minutes, about 1,150 radial kilometers southeast of Manila. 545 radial kilometers southeast of Cebu, 166 radial kilometers south of Davao City, and 15 radial kilometers east of General Santo City. It is strategically located in the eastern side of the province of Sarangani, bounded on the north by the municipality of Malungun, on the south and east by the municipality of Malapatan, and on the west by the city of General Santos and Sarangani Bay. There are three major rivers and two large creeks which serve as the natural drainage of the municipality. Among these rivers are Lon Padido River, Buayan River, and Moribulan River, with two tributary rivers upstream, namely Latian and Tubai rivers. The two creeks traverse at the center of the Poblacion, the Muli Creek and Bayalong Creek. These rivers and creeks discharge water to turn I had a former student and advisee, and now he is a licensed professional teacher in science who lived in the riverside. He said, reaching the place is not easy for us outsiders because there are shallow and deep parts of the river. The river is wide and becomes wider because there is no barrier that controls the water that erodes the soil. Erosion due to river water current is the main reason why the place is unsafe for the community. Animals and plants were killed and removed or eroded due to strong river current. As you observe in the vlog, Tall bamboo grasses were removed or eroded in the middle of the river bank from the peripheries of the river. Coconut and pilapal trees were eroded as seen in the video. According to him, river is fatal when strong river current hits you. In fact, few lives were already lost. Despite all of this, river gives advantage to them. River water supplies the community for planting, drinking, and bathing. Water is also beneficial to their animals such as cow and kerbau. It helps them stay cool in the environment. However, his family and others decided to stay because their livelihoods such as planting corns, coconut trees, and bananas are there. River is one of the resources of water in the Philippines and is one of the bodies of water produced in water cycle of the atmosphere. Water is life and is essential to all biotic organism. Hence, conservation of water should be prioritized by the local government. Likewise, cleaned water for the people must be conserved. 
the Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004, Republic Act 9275 should give in priority. Salient features of this act, the state shall pursue a policy of economic growth in a manner consistent with the protection, preservation, and revival of equality of our fresh brackish and marine waters. The DNR, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, is the executive department of the Philippine government responsible for governing and supervising the exploration, development, utilization, and conservation of the country's natural resources. It is mandated to address issues on environment in the country. The DAO or the DNR administrative order issued by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources to serve as guide in implementing procedures related to environment concerns, the DAO 2608 sets the general influence standards or the GS, designates the Water Quality Management Area or WQMA, the DAO 2608 Water Quality Guidelines and General Influence Standards of 2016, provides guidelines for the classification of water bodies in the country, determination of time trend and evaluation of stages of deterioration, enhancement in water quality, evaluation of the need for taking action in preventing, controlling, or abating water pollutions. <laughs> <laughs> 